and they're ready to go green this time at the line. Steve Hall and Dustin Sally are going to set the pace for the first of two Thunder Four heats. And this time it's an outside front row contender to the top spot, the 18, Dustin Sally. Already with a few curl lengths down the back shoot over Steve Hall in the 77. We've got trouble. The 37 goes around. Gunner Jocelyn gets his rear bumper cover ripped off. I would take that over hitting the concrete any day, though. And it's our same front row. Dustin Sally goes back to the top side. And again, he takes over the top spot from the outside. It's the 18, already with a few car lengths down the back chute. And they're side by side for the top three. Yeah, Dustin Sally actually catching a little bit of a break because he was one of the fast cars last week, but had his right front tire ripped off and uh, nursed it around back down to the pits and ended up finishing back down around 19th or 20th in the feature. Took advantage of that front row spot today. Things are certainly getting tight there. Between four cars, now up to second, it's Mike Golding in the 26. And the two is trying to follow up the inside. It's Butch Keen trying to get underneath Steve Hall in the 77. And don't count out the one of Jeff Davis knocking on the door, rounding out your top five. And the two finds an opening this time down the back chute. Will the 77 let him have it? And he does. Butch Keen now up into the top three. With Jeff Davis in the one following up the inside. And your pole sitter in the 77, Steve Hall, falls back to round out your top five. Adriana Dodge wants to hop up into the top five spots. The 35 to the inside of Steve Hall, and she'll do it. Adriana Dodge up to fifth now, halfway through it. Your top two turning identical lap times. Dustin Sally and Mike Golding, nobody closing up that gap at all because they are turning identical lap times with 18.6. Butch Keen is the fast car on the track right now. Two laps to go. And the last time around, Butch Keen was two tenths of a second faster than your leader in the third position. But he's gonna run out of time. They're coming to the white flag for Dustin Sally. Golding trying to hold on to second, but Butch Keen is looking to the high side now, going into turn three. Can the two car of Butch Keen make a pass on the high side? The checkered flag will wave for the 18 of Dustin Sally. And a valiant effort down to the line, but Golding hangs on with Butch Keen solidifying the top three. And let's do this with David Cook and Jeff Farrington. Slow start for the 44, David Cook, but as you can see, he is always fast once he gets up to speed. Briefly lost the lead for a moment, and look at him go through turns three and four. David Cook back to the top spot. We got one around. The one you were just talking about, Ken, the 813. John Anderson goes around in turn three, and he's yeah, underway. He's a race fan. He just wants to give back, and what a great way to do it. Give it right to the racers. And David Cook was not sleeping on that restart. 
a comfortable few car lengths already going into turn three. It's the 44, David Cook, lap number two. Shane Weber back up into that second position, right where he was before that yellow. Farrington, your outside pole sitter, falls back to third. Fourth place is the 84, Doug DeGroat. And rounding out the top five is the 57, Bruce Hall Jr. Everybody getting pretty well spread out. And we're not even halfway. David Cook, fastest car on the track. Was looking at the last lap times to see if the seven was any faster than your leader, but it doesn't look so. About three second, uh, seconds slower that last time around. Three, three tenths of a second slower for the seven of Shane Weber. So the 44, David Cook, untouchable in this heat for the Thunder Four Minis. Three laps to go now. And as I followed David Cook on Facebook, looks like he's got a brand new car this week for himself, a Toyota Celica that he loves to drive in that 44 car. A new car that he put together and it looks fast right off the bat. Two laps to go for David Cook. Shane Weber and Jeff Farrington. You're comfortable, top three, with one to go now for the 44. Shane Weber having a tough time getting around lap traffic, but that won't disrupt his finishing position. He'll take second to David Cook for Thunder Four Mini Heat number two. Third place will go to Jeff Farrington. Fourth to Doug DeGroat. And rounding out the top five is Bruce Hall in the 57. Strong for 25 laps. Dustin Sally and Michael Golding are gonna bring them to green. Trouble on the 46, Chess Williams is barely getting going through the first corners, but so far we're staying green. Hopefully he can get that rolling all the way to the pits. They are cranking them up in the Thunder 4 Mini Class. Dustin Sally, Mike Golding still hanging close in second, Butch Keen in third. And it was Logan Maddox in the 34 and Chess Williams in the 46 make it to the pits and we're still going. A little bit of contact going into one for the top five. Shane Weber in the seven trying to get underneath the 66 of James Grover and Grover pushed him down into the dirt Going into turn one, Weber maneuvers around the high side and he shows his strength in the second groove. The number seven now hops up into the top five down the back chute. He's got a ways to go to catch fourth place.
It's all Dustin Sally way out front. And then we've got a good battle going on for second and third. Mike Golding and Butch Keen. The 26 and the two car. Just about bumper to bumper. Coming out of turn two. Duking it out for the top three. Lap traffic right in front of that second place battle. But down the back chute, he moves high and lets him through. Mike Golding and Butch Keen continue the duel. And it's all Dustin Sally with a straightaway on that second place battle. Fourth place is the one of Jeff Davis with Shane Weber closing in in that seven. Jeff Farrington is sixth and it's David Cook in the 44 up to seventh now and working on Farrington for sixth. David Cook trying to win the feature and pick up that $500 bonus up to seventh and working on sixth place as we approach halfway. Cook finds an opening underneath. Farrington opens the door for him and it's David Cook now up to sixth. He's got a ways to go for that top five though. And back up front, Butch Keen has utilized lap traffic to get up to second, taking it away from Mike Golding moments ago. Halfway flags are posted, 13 laps to go. Three wide as the rest of the field continues to slice and dice through lap traffic. Jeff Davis having a go of it with Shane Weber trying to keep him close, but lap traffic is not making it easy. Weber is there with David Cook as well on their bumper. We've got a three car battle for fourth, fifth and sixth. And where is Golding? Golding fell way back. I didn't even notice that. Golding was up in third, and he's found himself way back to seventh. Again, thanks in part to lap traffic making it difficult. And trouble for Butch Keen on the back stretch. The two almost comes to a halt. Making that second and third and fourth place battle check up. David Cook was right underneath Shane Weber and he had to check up as Butch Keen almost came to a halt. More three wide action as Farrington tries to slice and dice through the lappers going into the first corner. Now down the back shoot, he's all clear. Dustin Sally has a half a lap margin on the rest of the field now. Davis has found his way up to second. Butch Keen has got that car back up to speed and he's looking to take second place back away from Davis in that one. David Cook all over the back bumper of Keen following around the outside of Davis. What a battle through one and two. Butch Keen in the two finally finds his way back up into the second position. And David Cook follows around the outside in the 44. He's finally up to third. But it's all Dustin Sally and nobody's gonna catch him without a caution as we've got less than five laps to go now. David Cook just moved up to second, quickly getting by the two of Butch Keen. But Dustin Sally is nowhere to be found. Sally's a half track ahead of the rest of the pack.
David Cook in the clear now, running in second. Butch Keen holding on to third with some, the one of Davis. Oh, things shut off on Keen once again. Not sure if it's a pickup problem or what, but the car just shut off on Keen again. Davis looks like he's got a tire going down. White flag for Dustin Sally. Final time through three and four, checkers fly. Dustin Sally goes wire to wire for the win. There's David Cook in the 44, he'll take second. Here comes your race for third. Jeff Farrington sneaks in to grab the third spot, getting by Shane Weber. And redemption from a rough opener a couple weeks ago. Let him hear it in the 18, folks. Dustin, Sally. Dustin, nice redemption from opening day. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, opening day wasn't really you know, the greatest for us, but I mean, it is what it is. You move on, you gather yourself up, you bring it back, and uh, you know, we try to put on a show for all you guys. You guys are the biggest thing, so you know, without you guys, it wouldn't be anything. Uh, I really gotta, you know, thank Kurt Dumas. He's the car owner. Um, I gotta thank uh, all my sponsors. Uh, let's see, be at your disposal. Uh, let me auto reco uh, recon. Sabatis Auto Sales, uh, Lenard's, uh, Auto Part International, uh, Kobe Heating, uh, Napa, Bethel, uh, my family, the fans, um, my kids, my fiance, uh, just everybody. It feels good to come up here and uh, get a win for everybody. Black Folly Podcast, Chasing the Checkered. Uh, thank you guys all so much. What are you doing, David? Signing autographs? Yeah. David Cook, ladies and gentlemen, he was the only one to step up to the plate and try and win that extra 500. Bet you were hoping for a caution. Uh, yeah, I really wanted a caution. I tried to get Dustin to come to the rear with me. He wasn't about it. So I said, I got nothing to lose and everything to gain. We're going for it. It was a heck of a run, a valiant effort. Who you got to thank? Well, I got to thank Shane Weber. He actually owns a car. Uh, we got Positive High Medical Cannabis, White Designs, Evolve Inc. Tattoo, Sean's Auto Repair and Towing. And uh, everybody who'd come support me, help me out in the pits, and all the fans. At the last minute, Jeff Farrington snuck by. Heck of a pass in the final corner is on third place. Yeah, I was going to try to give him a run for it. And uh, he kind of he saw the caution light and let off, and I had a hell there. So that's what happens. He got one last year on me. So. All right. Who do you got to thank for third? Uh, China Redemption's not on here, but they got a they got sponsor, uh, Holtham Logging. Um, everybody that helps me, Nelson, my dad. And thanks all the fans for coming. There you have it, Jeff Farrington with the third place.